Hello and welcome back to our video online uh, tutorials. Uh, this is Microsoft Excel and I'm still your lecturer, Mr. Baji. Uh, in our last class, we've talked about the if statement and how you can use the if statement to give you different answers for your, con uh, for your uh, conditional formatting, uh, for uh, conditional formulas. Okay, I hope you have given it a try to do a lot of exercises by yourself. So today we are going to go to the next class, which is uh, VLOOKUP. Now, VLOOKUP is one of the most widely used functions in Excel and one of our favorite tools. VLOOKUP looks up, lets you look up value in a column on the left, then, then returns information in another column to the right if it finds a match vlookup says what you want to look what do you want to look up for if you find it how many columns to the right do you want to get a value so this tells us that the vlookup this is the format of the vlookup it says equals to vlookup in bracket a1 which is the first column a1 then then you select the uh, the range of what you want to look for and then in which of the column are you going to look for is it column 2 or column 3 or column 4 and then if the answer is a close match or a clo approximate match then which is called the false then the return is going to give you the answer back okay so this is how VLOOKUPS works. So in exercise one, in D22, D22, which is this one, please click there and then enter this formula. Okay, it says the correct answer for apples is 50. The correct answer for apples is 50 because we want to find any value any value in this column or in this range that contains a word that is called apple and return the answer for that one on the right on the on, on, on column two so that is what this is happening so if it is a close approximate then it gives us the answer correctly okay so i want you to give it a try and then you also try the other part again okay so this is how VLOOKUPs normally work. If you go down here, please try the other parts uh, uh, of the VLOOKUPs. You can try other names here and then you re-enter the formulas. Of course, the formulas are there. But any name that you type here, I'm sure it should be able to uh, give you the display of your answer here. So please look at it carefully and read the instructions that follows. Okay, if you have any problems, please, when you come to class, you let us know so that we will be able to finish uh, whatever you have to uh, do. Okay, so at this point, we will stop here for VLOOKUPs. Please practice what you see. If you have problems, let us know, please. Thank you and hope to see you in our next class.